Hello, my name is Ron from Hope Church, Orpington. On a beach or in a field, you may sometimes find treasure hunters. Today, they are called detectorists, searching for lost coins or ancient artefacts. It may take them days and weeks, even years, as they search and sweep a barren field with their metal detectors in hand, with the hope of finding a valuable relic. Sometimes they are lucky and discover an item that is rare. One such person found only a single coin, yet it was worth £250,000. Others of them have uncovered more, which are worth millions of pounds, and some discoveries have even been described as priceless. However, two basic things are required of any good treasure hunter. Firstly, a passion to find something that has been lost, and secondly, perseverance until you find it. Some years ago, while on a ministry trip to Ireland with some friends of mine, we met two treasure hunters. We had been given the opportunity to speak at a small Pentecostal church. At one of the meetings, we were privileged to see two teenagers respond to the gospel message. They asked God's forgiveness and received Jesus into their lives. They had been brought along by a married couple who were their youth leaders. We had met this couple several years before when they had told us they were, they were going to reach out to the youth in their town. But not until now, five years later, had they seen any fruit from their labours. I was so impressed. Not only did they have a great passion, but what perseverance too. Noah, the guy who built the ark, must have embraced and embarked upon the same experience as those two youth leaders. Apparently, it is estimated it took Noah and his small family 70 years to build the ark. It's believed to have been twice the length of Nelson's flagship, the Victory, so it was no small feat. Throughout those 70 years, he preached to his neighbours and pointed to the ark as the way of escape from the coming flood but no one was interested. During this period, he could easily have lost both his passion and perseverance because of the boredom of doing the same thing day after day or just because of rejection and opposition to his message. Jesus too faced the same thing and could have given up. After the fanfare of his birth, with the visitation of a myriad of angels and then shepherds and later on wise men with rich gifts, there was just silence. Even during his short life of ministry, he received a mixed response from his audience until finally he ends up on a cross. Jesus once had 12 disciples, but now one had betrayed him, another publicly denied ever knowing him, and the rest, confused and fearful, were not to be seen. Also, after all those years, neither Noah or Jesus seemed to have much to show for all their efforts. For Noah, at most, he had built a floating zoo and only eight people entered the ark and were saved. As for Jesus, his numbers were low too. The field looked very barren. Yet neither Noah nor Jesus lost their passion. They kept persevering also. How did they manage that? How do you even get a passion? One way is to try something different. You may find it becomes your passion. Noah had never built a boat before, but it became his passion. Another way is to discover what God is passionate about, and he is certainly passionate about many things. If you're not sure, then ask him to show you. Ask your Christian friends and leaders what they are passionate about. That might help you. What about perseverance? A good example is Thomas Edison, the inventor of the electric light bulb. He revolutionised modern life for us today. He tried passionately to realise his vision of the light bulb, but failed hundreds of times before he literally had his breakthrough light bulb moment. He was reported to have said, while still experimenting, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways to make a light bulb that won't work. 
Perseverance is the ability to pursue a goal or passion over a period of time and stick with it even when we encounter obstacles and setbacks. Noah and Jesus did just that. Ask God today what he is passionate about and go after that. That just might be your light bulb moment. Thank you and God bless you.